what is up guys my name is Salha and you are watching Gadget Sphere. So today I thought why not to tell you that should you buy the Moto One Action 2020? What are my opinions about that smartphone? Is it still worth buying 2020? So I thought why not to answer all the questions in just one single video. Without wasting any further ado, let's get started. So the number one reason why I think you should buy this smartphone is just because of the cameras. Especially the ultra wide angle camera impressed me the most. The quality of videos you get from that camera is like just actually like getting a GoPro Hero 5. It's that good quality. And you know on top of that cherry on top of the cake that is the dynamic range. The dynamic range that is present on this ultra wide angle camera is like the best in class. I mean literally the best in class. So yeah, the ultra wide angle camera is my favorite of the Moto One Action. It's even way better than my M21, I'm just honest, it's way better than my M21 and even the M31, it's that good. So yeah, Motorola has actually did a very good job in providing the ultra wide angle camera with great stabilization and good quality of video. Now let's talk about the battery. The battery life is 3750 mAh, I mean on paper it looks bad, but what about real life? In real life it's going to give you a pretty decent battery backup but it's not that good like don't don't ex don't expect it to last you like one day full day when you you need to charge it in the evening but that's pretty normal for me and after switching from that smartphone to M21 it's incredible it's incredible battery life is just a step ahead of the Moto One action but there's still no compromises in the battery life of that smartphone. Now let's talk about the display. The display is excellent, simply excellent. It has a 6.3 inch hole punch display which looks a lot like the OnePlus 8. So if you are trying to copy the OnePlus 8 look in your Moto One Action, that's actually pretty simple and easy. Just install the launcher launcher and try to customize it and make it look like the OnePlus 8 and apply the OnePlus 8 wallpaper. It looks exactly like the OnePlus 8 and just try to trick one of your full friends like hey bro I got a one plus eight <laughs> I'm just kidding guys so the display is actually in excellent it has great contrast good viewing angles and on top of that the brightness is also very good like the smartphone can get very bright from very dim so it's very good you can see the display is perfectly visible in sunlight also now let's talk about the performance that is also a very important thing for a lot of people like if you want to play PUBG, if you want to play Call of Duty, if you want to play any game, the performance is very important and in terms of the performance you might be a little disappointed. I mean it's having a Snapdragon 6, oh there's no Snapdragon this time guys. It's having an Exynos 9609 processor. The processor is actually pretty good but in gaming performance it's going to give you in PUBG smooth and extreme. 50 FPS. It's not going to give you smooth 60 FPS, but it's going to give you 50 FPS in smooth and extreme. But there is one thing. In the longer run, if you want to run PUBG in HDR and Ultra, it is though supported. It doesn't mean that you can't play in that graphics, but it's not playable. I mean, the graphics are incredibly good in HDR and Ultra settings on the Moto One Action and even the M21. But there is one problem. That is, it lacks. It's not going to give you above 15 fps at all and when it does it's gonna give you 25 fps at most and it's actually just not playable so if you want to play in sdr and ultra in this smartphone motor one action on my m21 just you you cannot it's like impossible and yeah in hd it is good in sd you can get around 30 fps and that is actually playable but for competitive players just go for smooth and extreme don't even step up a even graphic setting because then you can't be competitive anymore. So these are my thoughts of the Moto One Action. Hope you like this and what do you think? Is it still worth in 2020? According to me, it's yes, it's still worth in 2020 for casual use, for watching movies, for playing games but in the lowest setting and for getting amazing GoPro style videography. So this is it. This is my review of the Moto One Action in 2020 and yes, it is worth. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Signing off.